at sixth grade. I miss you guys. Welcome to SIC and learning at home. Here we are together. Um, I am going to, each Monday, I'm going to post some of these videos or not some, but a video, um, and kind of talk you through what you're going to be doing each week. If you look on the screen, you will see that there is a weekly calendar here, and you can see this one is for this week from April 6th to April 10th. Um, I don't want you to get bogged down by what you have to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The idea is that I'm going to chunk all of your assignments Put them put a little bit in for each day of class and everything is due by Friday so if you decide that you want to do like Monday Tuesday and Wednesdays all on Monday by all means feel free you can do that get it out of the way and be done with it or if Monday's really busy or you have things in another class you could wait till Thursday to do your SIC assignments. So really, how you do it is up to you. You can turn them in throughout the week, or you can wait and turn everything in by Friday. All of your assignments from now on are going to be due by Friday at eight o'clock for this class. Um, so I just want you to kind of give it your best go. Do, do the best that you can. There are not grades yet, so don't stress out about that. But this is just to keep things moving, like kind of like they were in the classroom and get you back to a normal schedule. So this calendar seems like the best way to keep everything organized for you guys. So all you'll have to worry about is this top row here um, where it says sixth grade. And obviously we're gonna go right back in to our oratorical unit um, and do a launch. The goal at the end of your oratorical unit is that you are still going to be doing a speech. We're not gonna be doing it in the auditorium, but you'll still have to do a speech and we'll just We'll probably what we'll end up doing is doing those speeches either by video, you can record yourself, um, kind of like I'm doing here, or you can, um, we can do it by Zoom, by using Zoom, and you can give your speech then. So actually it might be a little less stressful for you in the end. Um, if you take a look, I just want to walk you through this and how it's going to look each week. I will have a video like this for you pretty much every Monday so you can watch and I will try my hardest to keep it short so if you take a look your assignment for Monday or whenever you decide to do it before Friday is to watch um, the video you're doing it now so good job you're like ahead of the game you need to respond to a question in Google Classroom and if you look into our assignments and you will see that there is a question about giving two tips for a great speech. So basically, if you were asked to give a speech right now with no instruction, what are two things you would keep in mind to make sure that you gave the best speech you could possibly give. This is kind of like one of our do nows, but we're just going to post it online. And then that's all you need to do. On Tuesday, I have uploaded a PowerPoint for you and you're going to look through the tips for great speeches. Um, and you're going to respond to a little question that I have there. And then on Wednesday, you're going to read through your peers responses and comment or reply to two posts. So you can look back through either one of these. I don't care if you want to go back and respond to the questions from the first day when we were looking at tips or whether you want to reflect on the question from Tuesday. Either one is okay. I just want you to respond to two different peer posts. So you might say something like, oh, I that's actually one of the tips I thought of I totally agree with that did you think about this um, so it's just you looking at your peers comments and interacting with them and we'll be doing a lot of that because that's a good way for you guys to keep in contact with each other to really make your brains think so that's all you need to worry about with the SIC calendar I'm giving you off on Thursday and Friday because originally we were supposed to have off on Thursday and Friday for spring break so no stress there, we're gonna ease into the week. If you look down here at the bottom, I am going to have office hours now on Zoom, which means I will have 
um, and you're going to receive, or you may have already received, um, an invite to the Zoom office hours. They're going to be reoccurring, which means they're going to be at the same time each week. And you can see our time is going to be on Mondays, 10 to 11, on Tuesdays, um, 1 to 2. I gave you an afternoon one there. Or on Thursdays, again, um, 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning. So if you ever are working on these assignments, you pull them up, you're not sure what you're supposed to do, and you have questions, you can always email, and I'll always get back to you really quickly. But if not, if you want to just chat, you can come into one of these office hours, and I will have Zoom up, I'll be at my desk, and we can just chat. Um, if you would like to just pop into chat, see who's there, and talk to some friends, you can do that too. That's, that's okay. Um, there may be times when we set up video conference times, some time to Zoom and chat with each other about something we're doing, something that's really specific. If that would happen, I would put those times up here in your weekly calendar. So you don't have to worry about that, and you'd get, a, you'd get a special invite to those meetings as well in your email. So this week we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it with office hours. So if you need something, this is a time when you would pop in and talk to me. Um, I think that's pretty much everything for right now. I'm just going to encourage you to do as much of these activities as you can to get your brain back into the swing of things. Next week, we'll really start on the good stuff of the oratorical unit. I'm going to have some really cool videos for you to watch of speeches, um, a worksheet to fill out to go along with those speeches, um, and then start thinking about what you might want to give a speech about because ultimately your speeches are going to be about something that you really care about, a persuasive speech about something that really matters to you. So there's a lot going on in the world right now that might matter to you, but you can also think of all sorts of things, like anything that's out there that, that, um, that you care about. So start thinking about that. Um, don't do too much research yet on that, but we're going to move into that eventually. Okay. So guys, until then, um, it's great to check back in with you. If you need anything, let me know. Um, take care. See you. Bye.